problem, they're asking us for the four fourth roots of negative four, and then they want us to be able to, to factor z to the fourth plus four into linear factors. And then, um, anyway, we're, I'll lead you through it. Okay, so on this one, same story, we can say that z to the fourth is equal to negative four. If you think unit circle, negative four is over here somewhere where the the modulus is, is four and the, and the argument is pi. Okay, well, pi plus two pi k. Notice um, we're gonna get all four of them if we take this into consideration and have a variable show up. Um, so I can say that z to the fourth is equal to four cis pi plus two pi k. So I wanna raise this to the one fourth power, so z is equal to um, four to the one fourth times cis of pi plus two pi k over four. Okay, however you wanna write that. Um, this is the, well, the four to the one fourth would be the same as two to the second, so the one fourth, which is two to the two fourths, which is two to the half, which is the square root of two. Oh my goodness, that was annoying. Okay, so this z is equal to the square root of two times cis of um, pi over four plus pi over two k. Okay, so the different values here um, it's going to be pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. So on the unit circle, we're um, here, 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 and here-ish. Okay? Um, so then all of our, um, this, this would be root 2 over 2 over 2 over 2. Um, so to find all of them, the first one would be, z. we might call it z sub 1 would be equal to root two times um, cis of pi over four, it would be the real part is root two over two, plus i root two over two is the imaginary part. So this would be equal to, well root two over, multiply that through, this becomes two over two, is just one plus i. Okay, so then the next one, now we have um, um, the second one, oh, that's a two, would be root two, Sorry, root two times. Well, now in quadrant two, the the real part is now negative. The imaginary part is still positive. Okay, we're going to multiply in a similar way. This is negative one plus i. And um, do you notice anything that's happening here? So this was this is one plus i. I can see that this is um, negative one plus i. This will be negative one minus i, and this will be one minus i. And so those are the four fourth roots. So if they ask me to factor z to the fourth plus four, well, the, fourth, the four fourth roots are this. So one of them becomes z, well, minus one. You're gonna, we're gonna change signs all over the place, okay? So um, I can minus and minus. I have z, um, let's do minus and plus. That gave me this one if I distributed through. Um, then I have a z plus, which would give me these two, uh, plus one, one of them is going to be a minus i, the other one is going to be a z plus one plus i. Okay, so now they, they, that's, these are linear factors, but they're, they're non-real. Okay, so then the problem continued to say, go ahead and put them into real um, quadratic factors. So on this one, here's what I see. Um, I see that this and this are the same um, on between these two. And then, oh, let's see if I can find another color. Okay. Um, sorry, it's the little things that make me happy. And then I have, in this one, this is the same and this is the same. So coming along here with the orange one, this becomes z squared minus 2z um, plus 1. Um, minus this guy, minus i squared. And then in the green one, I have z squared plus 2z, uh, where am I, plus 1 minus i squared. Okay, this now is z, oh, goodness gracious, z squared 
Notice I, how I have to cross my z's. My z's and my twos start looking very similar. Minus two z. This is a plus one. This is minus a negative one. So that's a plus. So that's plus two. Then I have a z squared plus two z. This is another minus negative one. So this is plus two. And that has been factored down into um, the quadratic. It's quadratic factors, um, and everything is real. Okay, go practice.